Today I'm going to show you how to read a dial caliper. The worksheet that you have received shows four sample problems. As you take a look at your worksheet, there's a three-step process to follow. One is to read the blade to determine the inches <coughs> of your object that you're measuring. I'm going to zoom in so that you can see here that on the blade there is a zero here, but if you go down to example two, you'll see that there is zero, one, two. These are your inch lines. In example one, you'll see that there is no one inch line visible. So in that case, in our answer, we'll come up to the upper corner and write down a zero. The next is to find the tenth. You can see the decimal point here. We're now going to go back to the blade. Each inch is broken up into 10 segments. These smaller lines represent those segments. So in this case, we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4. There are four visible lines, and we're going to come over and we'll write down 4. The last step is to read the hundreds and the th thousandths from the dial. On a dial caliper, you come over here and you look to see where the dial is, where the needle is pointing on the dial. In this case, you can see here there's 60, 70, 80, and it's slightly past. There's one pass, so we're going to write this down as 81. Now, as you take a look at a real caliper, you can see that it opens and closes by using the adjustment screw on the right hand side. If it, is, if it will not open, check the adjustment screw at the top. It may be tightened and will have it locked in place. Now, as I bring this out, and I'll set this as the same as our example on the paper, you can see here that I have, there's zero, there's one, two, three, four, those are my small marks. And then the dial caliper, I'll use the adjustment screw to take it out to 81, just like we did on our paper. Okay, and that would be the same markings as what we just did. The caliper, as you can see, once you get past one inch, these here are your tenth inch lines, and then here would be the one inch. You'll notice the number is raised. By following these steps, of determining the whole inch, the tenth of an inch, and the thousandths of an inch, you will be able to read a dial caliper.